Oh, what are you smiling at? Howard. Oh, I know. He makes me feel happy too, just to know he's there. Oh, dear yeah. Howard. Of course, a lot of people have got brothers, but not as nice as Howard. I'm very lucky. Howard thinks too much about his money. Well, he's got a lot. He needs to look after it. What matters is the life of the mind. I know. To me, that's all that matters. Yes. Absolutely all. Just as well we got Howard to provide. Provide? Oh, not everything I know, but just things like food. <laughs> To make sure, you know, kill anything. One of Howard's little treats. Now, now, the date stamp was quite recent. <laughs> Give it to Cuddly. Oh, Cuddly don't like black pudding, do you, Cuddly? He was here a minute ago. <laughs> now, we'll see what Howard's got for us tonight. Tonight? Groceries for me shop. Sure to have a box ready, as always. Did you say tonight? Yeah, we're going up days. You'd forgotten. Oh. Oh. Oh, <clears throat> oh Miss Griffin, where are you? Hi, Hi, Jim. Mrs. Chalker, I've told you, I'm waiting for spares. Try next week. <laughs> <laughs> they never give up, do they? Still no sign of, uh, you know, her, the female entity. No. How long is it now? <sighs> Two weeks. She indicated that she'd been often, didn't she? Two whole weeks ago, she came in to get this repaired. It's been ready for days. Hers. <laughs> Hers? Are you sure it'll do? What do you mean? It's a bit sort of mended. Well, of course it's mended. <laughs> no, but I mean, it looks it. All this tape and stuff and bits of swarf. Well, it works. <laughs> oh, Des, I'm not getting at you. Good thing. But... Perhaps somehow she knows. Perhaps she's waiting for it to be made perfect. You think? She being what she is. Des, what need do you suppose she'd actually have for that? Shave her legs. <laughs> somehow I just don't feel, I mean, a being essentially not of this earth, even allowing for the fact that she has to keep up a human persona while she's here from time to time. There is an unknowable difference. There must be. Jim, I think she's in trouble. Eh? What if she's got herself into a mess, bitten off more than she can chew? Oh, a mission. Well, put it like that, remember? Last time, when she was up at the town hall, in that temp job... Ostensibly. Yeah, ostensibly, of course. But that finished. Ah, did it. Oh. <laughs> I mean, suppose she's got herself into something else like that. What if she's gone back up there again? Eh? The risk. Beautiful, Miss Griffin. I don't think I've ever had a letter so perfectly typed. Oh, thank you very much. Miss Griffin. <laughs> Your uh, dictation machine. Mr. Horsley. No, 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 Richard. Oh, yes, yes, of course, Richard. Um, I I'm really very, very grateful that you met me for the talk back, but I your entry. <laughs> There's an old saying. Uh, oh, yes? My place or yours? <laughs> uh, well, uh, you wouldn't like mine. It's ratty. I mean, really, really ratty. And the landlord, he's a peeper. Oh, dear. 
Well, as to mine, I don't think my wife would take a particularly good view on the proceedings. Your wife? Oh, you don't get on with her. Oh, yes, I do. She's an admirable person and very efficient at running a home. But uh, not sympathetic? Oh, very sympathetic. You know, you'd like her. You ought to meet her sometime. But <clears throat> perhaps not just at the moment. <laughs> uh, Mr. Hawes. No, no, Richard. Oh, yes, Richard. I suppose it's possibly a hotel. The trouble is I'm known in all of them. Oh, I see. It's official functions, that sort of thing. <laughs> I say, you have beautiful legs. Oh, well, uh, they're, they're a bit fuzzy. Oh, no, I like that. Uh, do you? I, I don't. Um, I, I, see, my defuss has given up the ghost. I took it, took it to this little man round the corner to be fixed. I mean, he won't have done it. There's not a hope. Kinvig. Oh, uh, yes. You know him. Yes. I'll buy you a new one. Oh, no, no, please. No, I insist. Now, back to our original problem. Where? <laughs> hey, my concern of you is that everybody has a duty, a social duty. To make plenty of money. I'm sure you're right, Howard. Of course I am. Bye bye bye, little sister. Oh. Hey, you feel skinny. I do not. <laughs> you just reminded me I've got I've got a little something for you both. Just oh. hang about a minute. Oh, Howard, you shouldn't. You're too kind, isn't he, Des? Here we go. A cup of Des. Oh, well, piece uh, of uh, carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> just got a swing it out and I thought, hold up. There's a bit of wear in that yet. Might just be the thing for old Des and that. Oh, uh, you are kind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got it, Des. Mama, oh, shut the oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, oh. Don't oh. give yourself heart attack. Oh. All right, off you go. Oh. Bye now. Bye now. Bye, Bye Des. Now. Oh, car's still going, is it, Des? The MOT miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I know this bloody carpet. Well, he meant well. He had it in his bloody lavatory. <laughs> Long ago. And to think we wasted the whole evening just for this. Poor cattle, you'd be disappointed too. Always well, looks forward so much to Howard's box. All the little doggy bits. <laughs> Dear. Whatever's wrong? You were going to clean it out. It just stopped. It's a very old car. Driving along, and it just stopped. Very, very old. I remember when my daddy bought it, and it wasn't new then. <laughs> going to look in the works. I think I'll just take a little walk. Oh, yes. You had a lot of beer. <laughs> <laughs> now it's very generous. I'll wait here. my car, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, no. You're here. I came in person. Where's Miss Griffin? She's missing. a sad tale to tell. The crew of this craft have been neglectful. We didn't mean it. We're sorry. I said all along no, we shouldn't have... only after returning to our planet Mercury after a long mission did they bother to report her absence. 
Why, how long's she been gone? Five zips. Oh, that's about two of your earthly weeks. Two weeks? It was me that noticed I first. Said I said that to some... license! <laughs> now, kitten leg. Before she left, she made an entry in the ship's log. See her. Uh, we told him Mercurian, that. Oh, I forgot to say, we can manage every known language, plus a few unknown ones, whereas you... But, but what does it say? It appears, Kinvig, she's gone on a very dangerous mission to one of two places, depending on where she left orbit, either to the South Polar region or to here. The town hall. To what you know as the town hall, it is likely. Just a minute, there's a, a person there, a, a being, known as Mr. Horsley. I don't think he's real. You are right, Kenneth. He's a, 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 a humanoid. A very advanced model. Made by the Xox. What else? Dangerous? Very. I should go there? No. I thought not. No, you are wise, Kinbeg. It would only alert the Horsley and put her in still greater danger. What will we do then? Wait. Is that all? For her signal, the person you all know as Miss Griffin has remarkable powers. I know. I felt them. <laughs> See, even over the humanoids can be the imitation people. Even over the Horsley. To some extent. Yeah, I wondered. We must stand ready to get her message. I shall keep the craft in close orbit. Or, can they? it may come to you. Huh? Either way, we shall hear. Just be patient. That's right. Well, thanks for letting me know. Or, Kindig, say nothing of our commune. Uh, communion. Commune. It can shall. Sir, say nothing of our little chap, Kindig. <laughs> Only to Jim. Humanoid. Jim? I just got it from the library. They kept it for me. I am a humanoid by J. Barker Stansby. Oh, yeah. I stayed down there reading it. I couldn't stop. It's truly amazing stuff. Yeah, it's made up. Huh? Fiction. Well, in a way, I suppose it is. But on the other hand, he, he couldn't just have invented it. I mean, he must know something. This, what's the matter? Last night. Again? They stopped my car. I talked to them. Inside the... inside? Yes. <laughs> She's gone. Oh, no. On a mission. Of course. Do they know where? Well, guess. <laughs> All we can do now is wait for some kind of word. 
That's all we can hope for. She's beleaguered. Well, she may well be, yeah. <laughs> to think that apart from us, there's probably nobody that suspects. People are going in and out of that place all the time, not knowing. Just to pay their water rates and whatnot. And everything looking oh so normal. He didn't follow. What's up? Oh, Dad, I was just taking a shortcut across the common. You know, it saves a bit of time for the good shops, and I had a lot to carry, because I wanted to get him some tins of that stuff he particularly liked. Yeah, well, what happened? Well, it was this person. In one minute, there was nobody, and the next, there he was. What did he say? He didn't say anything. He just revealed himself. <laughs> Revealed. You know what I mean. All. Then what did he do? Well, he jumped back into the bushes. I think it was because Cuddly barked at him, a good dog. What did he look like? Well, just ordinary. A bit dirty. Did you see his face? His face? <laughs> How was he dressed? Top, he had a sort of shiny, plasticky garment. More of a Mac, really. <laughs> yes, a Mac. And underneath? I told you, Jim. Not sufficient. <laughs> that makes sense. They might not need anything else. I'm all of a fluster. Netta, <clears throat> now, this is important. Try to remember. Are you sure it was you he was trying to contact? <laughs> and not Des? If he did, he went a funny way about it. <laughs> Sometimes they do. It was somewhere along here, she said. Yeah. I've told her before not to use this path. Perhaps it was just as well she did. True. Quick. Gentlemen, huh? a word of explanation, perhaps. <laughs> well, we, we just thought we'd come and look at the. Um... We're waiting for an alien visitor. Shh. Come again? Well, being from space. Oh, I like that. It's new. Ah, no, why don't we take a little trot over to my panda car? Five oh nine over. Five oh nine over. Five oh ah, ah, ah. Five oh nine. Reports of an indecent exposure on the common. I've just caught these two suspects. They're hunting in pairs now. It's the first time I've ever known that. Well, do you live at... like swap 
Yeah. Your Diana works in a canteen. No, she doesn't have food. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking. A, that fellow that got arrested was just human. B, he wasn't. They didn't know. And C. Well, what's C? That was no policeman. I see what you mean. See anything? No. Just a minute. There's a light. Where? It's a long way off. A row of lights moving. It could be a bus. Thirty-eight. Or if it's a twenty-eight, it'll turn off down the Tumbury Road. If it's a mothership, it might go straight up. It's turned off. else at it. Trying to make contact. <laughs> of course. What what we do? No, Jim. 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 Oh, oh, Miss Griffin. <laughs> come out, come out. We know what you're up to. <laughs> Blast you. Go away. Miss Griffin. Thank you, Dennis. You saved me. I was losing control over the humanoid horse. You were just in time. <laughs>